All right, let's take a look at number three on problem set 19. Okay, so the directions talk about putting this into an equation. Um, let's see, it says, create, using the diagrams below, create your own word problems. All right. So, they give you this tape diagram, and you have to figure out what would be a word problem for this. So, when I look at all these tape diagrams, well, the first thing that I see on this tape diagram is how they have this dotted line here, and it perfectly lines up with this tape diagram and this tape diagram. So my, the first thing that I notice when I'm looking at this math is that this tape diagram and this tape diagram are exactly the same. And then it gives me, this math problem gives me this information right here. <clears throat> and it says 8,200. So I can infer that this is 8,200 and this tape di diagram is 8,200, okay? Now, the rest, I have to start doing a little bit more hands-on math. So if I take a peek at this next tape diagram, well, if you remember, we've been talking about how if it's shorter, if the tape diagram is physically smaller, then that means it's going to be a smaller number. It's going to be a smaller unit. And how much smaller? Well, this information is told right here. So it's going to be this 8,200 minus, it's going to be fewer 3,500. So I have to do this math in order to find this tape diagram. Then I come down here. Well, I already know that this part of the tape diagram is worth 8,200, whatever the unit happens to be, because you have to write the math problem. And then, if you remember in our math, we talked about how sometimes it's fewer, but sometimes it's more. So I have to figure out how much more. So here's the next math problem. Make sure those numbers are lined up correctly, right? The zeros need to be in the ones column. The zero and the one need to be in the tens column. And when you find that sum, that will be this and this, okay? Then the last part, the last part means you have to add them all up. So you're going to take this number and this number. Remember, you get this number from subtracting and this number. I would put it right here, okay? You're going to get the total here by taking 8,200 and 2,010. You, this is 8,200 with more. This is 8,200 with less. It has fewer. This one's 8,200 with more. So then you have to take up, you have to go ahead and make sure you find the real total. So the real total would be this number and this number when you find it and this number when you find it. Add those three numbers up, you will find your total. Hope this helps.